Hello, I'm Derek Franklin, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. In this video, I would like to discuss how you can actually treat a revision as a serial number inside of EPDM to be assigned to files during a transition action. One scenario where this could be useful is when wanting to assign ECL numbers to files and wanting to apply that number as the set of files move through a transition in the workflow process. Now naturally, it would make sense to want to use a serial number for this. But the problem that we run into is getting it assigned and written to files during a workflow transition as there is no built-in mechanism in EPDM to do this. However, we do know that incrementing a counter value as a set of files passes through a transition while also writing that value to the files data card is the exact action of a revision. So, in order to accomplish this, we can treat a revision as a serial number. Now, let's take a closer look at how to make this happen. So the first step in this process is to create the ECL number as a revision. To do this, I'm going to set up a five digit numeric counter as my ECL number component. This can be done by going into the administration tool for EPDM, expanding the revisions node, right clicking on revision number components, and clicking on new component. I'm just going to give it a name of ECO number component. We want the initial counter value to begin at 1 and for my format string I'm going to use a five digit numeric counter as previously stated. And of course you can select whatever works for your workflow process or whatever or whatever is required for you. you just click OK. The next thing we need to do is to create a revision number. So we're going to right click on revision number and select new revision number. I'm going to give it a name, ECO number. And for my revision number format stream, I'm going to combine my revision number component with an ECO prefix. And again, you can set this to whatever you desire for your workflow process. You click OK. The next step in this process is to set up the workflow state to use the ECO number revision. So I'm going to open up my workflow and I want to apply it in the ECO under review state. So I'm going to click on the properties of that state and in the revision number to use, I'm going to select my ECO number from the drop down list and I want it to increment by one. The last part of this setup is to create the appropriate transition actions to assign and increment the ECO number. Now we're all familiar with the transition's ability to write variable values to the data card as files pass through it. To accomplish this, we can use the set variable action and set the ECO number data card variable to have a value of next revision. So let's see how we do this. On the transition, I'm going to click on the property and, also, and click on new to set a new action. Just going to give it a description. And for the type, we want to select set variable. Now, I'm going to run it for all files. You can, if you want, uh, select the only run for files with these extensions box so that if there is only particular files that you want to run this for, you can do that. I'm going to select my variable from my drop down list here. And also for the value, we want to select next revision. And we click OK. Now, for this particular case, I'm not really interested in having the ECO number stamped on a file version in the history. So in order to make this happen, I'm going to utilize the Change Revision Counters button here. This allows me to silently increment the ECO number counter value without applying the revision label in history. So we'll click on this button, and we see our ECO number component listed here. And I want it to increment by one. Click OK. Now, of course, if we want to apply this in our history, we can do that. We would just need to set up another action to increment the revision. So we'll click OK. Let's save our workflow. And now that the setup is done, let's see it in action. File here in my vault that is in a design state. And I'm ready to submit this file for review. And when I submit this file for review, I'm going to have the ECO um, revision incremented. And as you notice here in my data card, I have a field on, 
on the data card that shows me my ECO number, which is currently at 00159. So once I submit this file for review, we would expect to see this ECO number increment by one. So let's do it. We're going to right click on the file, change the state, and we're going to submit it for review. And again, this is a transition where we are assigning the next ECO number. Add a little comment here and click OK. And just as we would expect to see, our ECO number incremented by one. So there you have it. Ultimately, we were able to bend the definition of what it means to be a revision versus a serial number to allow for yet another way to make EPDM work for us in our day-to-day -day work process.